thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about your company, She++? She++ is a nonprofit that I founded while I was an undergrad at Stanford, co-founded. And we basically work to increase the number of women in computing fields. And so the idea for it came from the fact that my co-founder and I both came to Stanford as non-computing majors, ended up as computing really? majors. I was a psych major to start off with. I did two years of a psych major. How common is and that switch? Not at all common. Uh, I think, you know, other forms of engineering to computing sometimes, but not psych. It's yeah. like a completely different school. But... We both ended up switching into computing from her from biology, me from psychology. Loved it, wanted to do more to encourage, especially young girls and women, into the field. And so She++ is a nonprofit that does that in a few ways. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's so important to have women in that field? I think for a, num a number of reasons. One would be that you know they talk about the fact that diverse teams build better products and technology is really swallowing not only the tech industry, but it's swallowing health and education and all these industries. And it's really important to have people of all sorts of backgrounds in those fields who understand the technical skills there, um, giving their input and giving their perspective. I think the other part of it is that, you know, computing is one of the only professions in this country that has we have three times as many job openings as graduates. Wow. There are, by the year 2020, only about 30% of computing jobs in the U.S. are going to be filled. And Amazing. More people don't want right? to go into it. <laughs> it women seems like a included. great deal, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and women, being 50% of the population, but only about 20% of computing majors are like the greatest untapped bench there. There's been a lot of recent press about sexism in mm -hmm. Silicon Valley and technology in general. What's your take on that? I actually think it's great that it's getting this sort of visibility. I think Silicon Valley kind of used to pride itself on, you know, we're a meritocracy, stuff like that doesn't happen here. And if it does happen, it was behind closed doors, right? Right. Um, and the fact that it's happening in the media, the fact that people are talking about it individually, I think means that obviously it's not a great situation, right. but it's getting the kind of attention it needs to actually change. And these things happen, like all of the situations that arose, especially last year, forced these huge companies like Google and Facebook to reverse to release their diversity statistics, right. and that kind of forces them to be accountable for changing them. So some good has come out. Some of Some good has come out of it. Have you ever experienced any kind of sexism in your in your career path so far? I think it's more it's subtle. It's unconscious bias more right. than anything else. It's, you know, walking into a room and you get interrupted or people assume you're not an engineer. People assume, you know, you're the designer or you're the recruiter or something in the room. Mm. Um, and it's not a lot of overt sexism, okay. but I think, I almost think the unconscious stuff is harder to change because you have to make people conscious that they're actually doing it. And as soon as they are conscious, they stop doing it. Do you think that the media attention will encourage more women to pursue this, or are you worried that it will deter them? I think it will encourage them. I think if you look at the biggest portrayals of technology in popular media, mm -hmm. um, they're actually like pointing fun at it. They're actually you look at like HBO does the show Silicon Valley, good and show, it's, it's yeah. a good show. It's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, and I think you know it's pointing fun at it, and it's right. pointing out all the things that we need to change, and that I think are going to change as a result of this attention. But it also points out kind of like the scale of impact and the scale of how technology affects so many different fields. That I think it's just kind of this switch that gets slipped for people. Like I don't have to be a pure software engineer, if I major in computer science, here are all of the other things I could do. Great. Thank you so much for speaking with me today, Laura. Yeah, thank you.